number two is Q plus 4T equals 29. Number four is one half J minus five equals K plus 13. Plus K plus 13. So it could definitely not be 13K. Sum means addition. Number six is three fourths W plus five equals one half W plus nine. Eight is 32 over Y equals three Y minus four. Ten is 32C plus 250 equals 410. And then when you solve it, you get five. Number 12 is A equals pi R squared. 14 is one-third S squared H equals capital V. 16, you could write a lot of different ways. One possibility would be six plus the product of nine and K plus the product of five and J is 54. Hold on, let me actually, let me look at the thing. Start, start over, start over. That's fine. 18, you could write different ways. One way would be six times D squared minus the product of seven and F is identical to eight times D plus F squared. Number 20, you could write, you could write the words in, in slightly different way, but uh, the example is a store receives a shipment of notebooks that costs the store $6 per notebook. To sell the notebooks, the store marks them up by 25%. If the store charges $3.75 for each notebook, what was the original cost of the notebook? That's a pretty garbage way to write it, but it technically would work. It doesn't, it's, a, it's not really a full problem, right? We, we had to write a whole, whole, cent, whole, like, scenario about notebooks. But yours would translate into that equation, though. We could do ten. Miguel is earning extra money by painting houses. <coughs> he charges a two hundred fifty dollar fee plus $32 per can of paint needed to complete the job. Write and use an equation to find how many cans of paint he needs for a $410 job. Okay, so he's got a flat fee of 250, right? So 250 plus whatever it is, $32 per can, right? So 250 plus $32 per can of paint, and we want that for a $410 job. So 400, that, we want that to equal $410. So we wanna find out how many cans of paint he used. All right, so there's your equation, that's part A. Now to solve that, what would we do? You're saying it backwards, but I think you're meaning it right. Subtract the 250 from both sides. 32C equals, what's 410 minus 250? What? What? Oh, okay. I thought you were saying the answer. 160. Now what? So what do we get? Five cans of paint. 
What other questions from this lesson do we have? Two? Oh, 12. Oops, 12. The perimeter of a rectangular pentagon, of a regular pentagon, so a, a regular shape, what is, we talked about this the other day, what does a regular shape mean? The word, that word regular, what does that denote? All the, sizes are the same. All the sides are the same. So how would you find the perimeter of a regular pentagon? Well, but they're all the same. So like how many sides of a pen, does a pentagon have? Four is a quadrilateral, five is a pentagon, hexagon is a six-sided figure. Okay. <laughs> That's true. That is what I just said. All right. So the perimeter would be five times the number of sides, right? Or the size of the sides. Twelve. Does that make sense? You had to know what a regular shape is, and you had to know a pentagon had five sides. Wait, I thought 12 was A equals five, six. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I was reading 11. So yeah. that, that would be, <laughs> that would be. Okay, let me, let me try again. How about 12? The area of a circle is, okay, so area of a circle is. Why? Area of a circle is the product. What does product mean? Not division, multiplication. The product of pi and, so the product of pi and the radius squared. So radius squared, product of pi and the radius squared. See, I don't know why I, I, I Because you got confused on the problem and you came up with a way to solve it? That's false. That didn't happen. That's false. It didn't happen. You're, you're still, I'm, I'm saying that you didn't do that. I can't prove it, obviously. I have no proof, but I, I don't think that's what happened. Yeah, that's, what I, that's what I'm saying about you. Or, well, not you, but your statement. I'm not calling you a liar, but I am calling your statement a lie. I am doing that. I have no evidence for it. So, you know, it's your use, my, my word versus yours. So, you know. 14, one third the product. So what does product mean? Multiplication. One third the product of the length of the side squared and the height. So the product of the side squared and the height. So side squared height, there's product. One third of that, right, is the volume of a pyramid with a square base. Lamio. You may. Go ahead and rinse it out. Like, go ahead and rinse it real quick. Did you? That is an acceptable way to write it. That's definitely wrong. <laughs> but does this make sense based on the words? Where, if you'll open your book, you'll be able to follow along a lot easier, but you know, what ifs. Uh, I would say the difference of the products six, no, what would I say? I don't know. The product of 6 and d squared minus the product of 7 and f is the product of 8 and d plus f squared or something. I don't know. I have no idea. Something like that. You could like really try to nest it and be like the difference of the product of D six and D squared and no the product
product of you know the difference of this and yeah you'd have to have a lot of nested ands of which and is going with which and whatever else it's probably more straightforward it would make more sense okay what other questions from this lesson do we have eight two-thirds no not two-thirds 32 is divided by y so how do we write that 32 over y great Yes. Yeah, I don't do it that way. It's ugly. <laughs> yeah, your life is so ruined. Uh, 32 divided by y is equal to, so is equal to the product of 3 and what does product mean? The product of 3 and y minus 4. So the product of 3 and y minus 4. I really didn't say anything. Did you? Yeah, I mean, 3 minus 1 and 1 3. Yeah, that didn't work out. Yeah. So I technically did that. I did 3 with the divided by symbol. Why? Yeah, I did too. You 3 with the divided by or the 32? Don't do it that way. Also, I did it in algebra. Also, I forgot. I didn't know product meant times, so I did. Pretty sure that's like in the in the lesson. <laughs>